if you're a fan of uh, Downton Abbey uh, and you watch it religiously, uh, our next guest is a very, very romantic, lovable, deep, sensitive guy. It's nothing like he is in this series, no. the next series he's doing. That's <laughs> Not all at I all. have to say. Uh, Patrick, is, uh, also, I want to introduce you. Say your name. We, uh, Americanize it or, no, or just French? French. 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 Marc Andre Grondin. So when we when I said Mark Andre Grodin, it mm -hmm. was totally not right. No, it's fine. Okay. It's fine. It's close enough for local television. Exactly. <laughs> anyway, the two of you uh, are starring in a new series called Spotless, a black comedy about a man with a crime scene cleaning business who reluctantly gets involved with mobsters. When you call on me to do a job, it's my scene. I'm in charge on the ground. Nobody else. Fair enough. I don't like an audience. You guys can't be there. You can't be left on your own. For your own protection, as well as mine. Now, one of my men will stand guard. He won't interfere. He won't get in your way. Fair enough. Welcome to both of you. Thank you. Yes. Mr. Clark, first of all, for you, Mr. Clark, there are people who want you a certain way. You did this one television series, you played this character, this character just incited reactions, especially from women. Did you deliberately take a different kind of role here to get away from that? Well, I just think it's uh, an actor's instinct when you've done a job for um, six months or seven months or something to, to, to look for something different. Um, we have, we're, notoriously, we have itchy feet. We, we just look to, um, um, we're interested in, in range and, 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 and to operate and ex execute different styles and, um, you know, that's what we do. Um, you know, I could have finished Downton Abbey and then um, gone into playing six months of, play, uh, of, a, of a valet with a cane and a limp. And, and, but that wouldn't and, have been great. And tremendous but. nobility, dignity and uh, morality and ethics. Yeah, that's what that. people loved about you. I'm really character. glad you said that because yes. I, I based that on both my grandfathers, mm -hmm. my Scottish and Irish grandfathers, and they were very dignified men. They were steel workers, but they, they had great class, you know, and, um, and stoicism. And, um, um, and Julian wrote it so beautifully, but it was, um, it was very um, self-contained interior character. Um, um, I, I love subtext. So mm. there's a, there was a lot well, of that to play. When, What's in between the lines? Uh, yeah. yeah. And Julian, you say Julian Fellows, who wrote, he calls you both dangerous and cuddly. I, what is that about? Um, I, I really like that. Yeah. Imagine having the option of going, um, um, I'm really cuddly, like I am. Yeah, yeah I can dry. tell. Mm -hmm. But um, um, if you cross me, I'll kill you. Yeah. Got it. Well, that's... So it's, you know, it so works for you. That's where you, are, that's where you are now. You're a guy who's, uh, in your character in Spotless, He's uh, living an okay life. He's got that weird kind of crime cleanup business. And your brother reappears. Tell us about that. Yeah, my, my character is um, French. So he decided to uh, run away uh, when he was younger to London and have a new life there. Um, got a wife, kids, started a business of uh, cleaning, uh, specializing in jobs that no one other, like no other company wants to do. Like when Brains are splattered on the floor. Yeah, running bodies and stuff like that. A yeah. uh, really tough job, uh, a real job too. Um, and uh, and when his brother shows up, his brother's kind of like linked to criminal stuff, and uh, and he shows up with a dead body, uh, packed full of drugs. Packed full of drugs, and he thinks I'm like a CSI dude, and I can just, you know, I. I I know my ways with bodies and, and, and get the drugs out, but, uh, but, but no, I'm, I'm just, uh, you know, mopping and bleaching. And, um, so anyways, he, he pulls me towards the criminal world, and uh, that's how we encounter his guys, uh, Nelson guys. Nobody ever... I, I, sorry, I just love the fact that when his brother turns up, he says, so, so, so you're not a CSI guy? And he says, I bleach. <laughs> he, he, he's at the, at, the, at, the, at the bottom end of, of um, clearing up so really, really messy scenes, this but is does it brilliantly. So. Yeah, this is where you get kind of sucked back into a world you don't want to be there. Now, for you, I've never heard an actor play a bad guy as a bad guy. Is that, does that hold true for you? Yeah, we were really, really keen about this. Um, um, I don't know if I've told you this, but um, Ed, the writer, he's, he's Glaswegian, and um, there's a kind of no-nonsense. From Glasgow. From Glasgow. Yes. 
So here's a, a, a no-nonsense no, 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 no hard core approach to the way people speak and communicate and there's a sort of gallows humor about everything that culture comes with um, his his dad was from my hometown my mum was from his hometown and i said um did i not tell you that um we've been doing this all week um, <laughs> and the thing is i said um can, can, can we get away from um the, the sort of archetype of the gangster, the mob guy with the baseball bat and the gun and the anger and the rage. Mm -hmm. And um, let's not create a character that people are afraid of because of his wrath. They're afraid of because of his disapproval. Let's do something chilling and cold. You know, he's a stone cold psychopath, but he has empathy and he's uh, autodidact. Wait a minute. He's, he's a, dangerous he's and stone, cuddly. He's a stone cold he's psychopath. And cuddly. But he adores his wife. Um, he's very concerned about his brother who's deeply, deeply sick. Um, uh, Nelson's deeply sick because he, you know, if you cross him, he'll put a bullet in your head. Yeah. But um, it's, it's a, he's still lovable. But it's cuddly. Way. Well, uh, that, that's in the, in the hands of the audience. And what, the great joy is when when you don't um, look out to the audience and say, "Oh, you know, feel, feel sorry for me," or, or, or oh, "I'm crying, feel pity for me," or, or "Oh, look at me going through all those troubles." Uh, you know, you, you you don't have to play all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, love me or hate me, I don't care. Yeah, yeah. But in the end, you do care, though, right? Well, I think so, yeah. yeah. A stone cold psychopath who's got a warm heart. It's an interesting combination. Uh, Spotless. You've, you've met them. You, yeah. you know, yeah. I've worked with them. Uh, Spotless premieres Saturday night, 10 o'clock on the Esquire Network. Thank you for coming Thank in. You. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Great to see you. Thank you. Thank you.